I've been telling you that connecting a DAC directly to a computer doesn't bring the best of audio quality. That doesn't mean that you can't connect a DAC to a computer. You just need a device that cleans up the power and the signal on the USB bus. A device like the iFi Nano iUSB 3.0. Computers are made to handle data and present it on a video screen. Audio is added on later as an afterthought and only needed to be functional. Computers are extremely noisy and contain so many clock signals that obtaining a proper audio clock is just impossible to do inside the computer. In my video connecting your DAC number 2, how digital can go wrong, I describe what can and likely will go wrong when you connect a DAC directly to your computer. iFi claims to solve this problem by offering the iUSB 3.0 boxes in two qualities, the Nano and the Micro. In this review we look at the Nano, the cheapest of the two. The small aluminium box measures 90 by 65 by 27 mm and has connections on both small sides. On one side you find the power inlet, the power switch and the USB 3B socket for connection to the computer. Two LEDs on top indicate when a computer is connected and when the nano is switched on. The other small side holds a USB A socket that only offers power and a second one that carries both power and the USB signal. The power only socket can be used to power the DAC while the USB signal comes from the other socket. iFi has an optional cable to enable this. Although the Nano iUSB 3.0 is fully USB 3 compatible, I currently know of no DAC that is. That's no problem for the unit will work with USB 2 devices and cables just as well. As long as the connector fits, it will work. The power switch has two positions, auto and on. When in the auto position, it will switch off when not in use. The on position keeps the power on at all time, which can be handy when the DAC needs USB power to identify itself to the source. Talking about power, the Nano iUSB 3.0 comes with a 9 volt i power wall board. This is an audio grade switching mode power supply. I have reviewed the 5 volt version to find it as good as the Audiophonics linear power supply. Apart from active noise cancellation and filtering of the power supply, the USB signal is also reclocked and regenerated. A lot of people still have problems believing that digital sources can sound different. Time over time I'm told that bits are bits, that async USB has no timing problems and so on. That's all fine and I'm willing to believe any theory, but only if it confirms my real life observations. Digital audio is extremely sensitive to timing errors and those are influenced by the quality of the clock signal and the pollution on the power lines. To test the audible result of the Nano iUSB 3.0, I placed the Intel NUC 6 i3 running Rune Rock nearby my setup 1 and connected it alternatively directly to the MyTech Brooklyn DAC and via the Nano. The improvements were very clear. Instead of having the sound stick to the speakers, it became more free, had more resolution and better refined highs. It of course was no match for the SOTM SMS 200 Ultra that comes at 6 times the price and uses the network for data transport. Now how can I make clear what, to what extent the audio quality was improved? Let me try the following. If the direct connection offered 20% of the quality of the SOTM Ultra, then the Nano iUSB 3.0 would offer 40% of quality in my setup 1. In my simpler setup 2 it would be say 70% and in the sub 1000 euro setup 3 it would be 80%. Keep in mind that this is a subjective judgement by a trained listener on well balanced setups. 
if you are not a critical listener and has a, have a setup that is not very refined, you might even hear no difference at all. But if you are a critical listener and have a setup, a well chosen 1000 euro or more stereo, you will find the money well spent. Whether you rather should buy its big brother, the micro iUSB 3.0, I can't tell you yet, but a review will soon follow. iFi makes all kinds of affordable audio products. My review of the iPower made clear it was a very decent product at a low price. The Nano iUSB 3.0 falls in the same category. It might not be the best in the world, but it's certainly a very good product for the price. In general, that is what pleases many people, more than a very good pro but extremely expensive product would. If you have your DAC connected directly to the computer, you should really invest 225 euros, 195 pounds including VAT or 199 US dollars excluding sales tax. For people that want to go further, I will review the micro iUSB 3.0 and the SOTM TX USB Ultra in the near future. So if you want to stay informed, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question, post it below this video, but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions videos to find out why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen. Thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.